Hello, it's Orlando Caesar. I hope you are doing well. Today I'm going to spend some time talking to you about leadership. I have spent most of my adult life either leading or reading and writing about leadership. And as you know, the eagle is the symbol of leadership in many cultures. And I feel that within each of us, there is an inner eagle that we need to attach to and bring out. So therefore, I talk about these things in my book, Unlock Your Leadership Greatness, saying that there is greatness in you that's associated with leadership. And what are we going to do to bring it out? Because as each of us would agree, today in our current world, leadership is needed more so than at any time in our existence in our businesses, in our families, in our neighborhoods, in our communities, leadership. There's a cry for leaders to step up and lead people to the place that they need to go. One of the points I want to bring out today, however, is around the concept of ozone leadership. Now, ozone leadership, you may ask, what is ozone leadership? Now, years ago, working in the pharmaceutical industry, if we launched a drug, a project, or a strategy, and if it did not go according to plan, generally we would say the heat would come down from the bub. And my folks would come to me and say, well, what should we do? Because there are things that we have to fix here. And I would advise them that when the heat comes from above, you cannot let that heat go through unfiltered to your people. So many times you have to be the ozone layer for your people. That resonated with them. Because as you know, with the ozone layer that surrounds the earth, it makes decisions, or we can't say it thinks and makes decisions, but the way it is structured, only certain kinds of UV light is allowed to get through to the earth. And if we look at the sun as being the generator of that heat, now in our corporation, there may not be a sun, but there may be an individual that brings heat, that brings pressure. Or you may individually have goals and aspirations and you bring heat on yourself to do what you need to do. So when the heat comes down from above, the ozone layer filters the heat. Now, when you look at the ozone layer, I said, I think we have something here. When you look at the ozone layer, there are generally attributes of the ozone layer that's applicable to our situation. So if you look at the ozone layer, one of the attributes that it has is that it is protective. It is designed to ensure that only the right kind of UV light gets through. Otherwise, it would incinerate everything on Earth. So it is protective. So as an organization, as a leader, how can you be protective of your people? Are you creating what I would like to call an oasis where people can be open and share information safely? Is it a safe environment? Do you have measures in place that people feel that I can come to work, I can bring my whole self to work, I can be myself at work, and I don't have to worry about things. I am protective. Another attribute of the ozone layer is that it's selective. As I mentioned, there's only certain kinds of UV light that gets through. So as a leader, how are you being selective? Are there certain things, certain assignments that your people should be focused on? Mission critical? Focused? Or are there some things that you need to make sure that they don't try to do all things and be all things to all people? Are you keeping them in their eyes on the prize? So as the ozone layer is selective in the molecules and the heat that it lets get through, the UV light that it lets get through, how are you being selective to ensure that only the right things get through for your people. And regarding your people and your team and your organization, are you being critically selective 
and the people that you allow to be a member of your team. So protective and selective. The ozone layer is also corrective. Now we noticed years ago that there was a hole in the ozone layer. So we put measures in place to reduce carbon emissions. And in doing that, we are helping the ozone layer to repair itself. So as a leadership application, how are you corrective with your people? Do they know where they stand? Are you giving them feedback? Are you being transparent? Are you being clear with them as far as their direction and what they have to do? So correction is very nice. Feedback is very nice. And then there are times when as leaders, we have made mistakes. Have you been vulnerable with your people? Have you told stories about the times when things did not go well for you? And then have you also told them how you corrected the course? So if you're going as a team, as an organization, and you're going in a way, in a path that's not where you want to be, are you being corrective? Are you standing up and being transparent and clear with them? The ozone layer is also effective. Evidence of that effectiveness is the fact that we're here. How are you being effective with your team? How are you measuring effectiveness? Are things going as planned with the necessary course corrections that we talked about before? And then the fifth attribute that we would like to talk about regarding ozone leadership and the principles uh, applicable to our organizations is directive. Do we know where we're going? Because as, as has been said, if you don't know where you're going, any road will get you there. So are you being directed? They didn't, do they know the vision? Do they know what is important to you? Are you clear by your expectations of what you want them to do? So protective, selective, corrective, effective, directive. These are five attributes that we can put in place regarding ozone leadership that will help us be more effective and, decree and to create the kind of organization we need for success. Now, as with many principles that we see, you can take ozone leadership and the whole principle of the ozone layer and apply it to many aspects of your life. You have an ozone teamwork, you can have ozone parenting, and you can see why that would work. As a parent, you want to make sure that you're protective with the children. You want to make sure that you're selective with the things that they're exposed to. You want to make sure that correction and discipline is applied when appropriate because you'd like to have effective young boys and girls to become effective young men and women. And through all of that, your direction, your parenting style, your leadership is going to be what's important. Now, when you talk about ozone leadership, uh, that principle has been written about in one of my books called Unlock the Secrets of Ozone Leadership. So we want you to keep leadership in mind in everything we do because it helps us to be effective. This is Orlando Caesar. Find out more about me at orlandocesar.com because we want you to be an effective leader. Have a great day.